Well, I just had an opportunity to meet for the first time in his official capacity uh, with my new Secretary of Defense, Ash Carter. Uh, we talked about a wide range of uh, security challenges and opportunities that we face around the world, uh, everything from making sure that we are dismantling uh, ISIL and not only stabilizing the situation in Iraq, but addressing the foreign fighter issue and countering the narrative of violent extremism that has been turbocharged through the internet. We had a chance to talk about situations like Ukraine. We also had an opportunity to talk about how we maintain the strongest and most effective military in the world and how we keep faith with uh, our outstanding men and women in uniform. Uh, I could not be more confident uh, that Ash Carter is going to do an outstanding job as Secretary of Defense, uh, and uh, he is hitting the ground running, having already spent uh, a lot of time in this administration uh, and in the Pentagon. So I want to thank uh, the Senate for confirming him almost unanimously, uh, and uh, look forward to working with him in the years to come. I think America will be well served uh, by Mr. Ash Carter. I disagree with the Texas judge's ruling, uh, and the Justice Department will appeal. Uh, this is not the first time where uh, a lower court uh, judge has uh, blocked something or attempted to block something that uh, ultimately uh, was shown to be lawful. Uh, and I'm confident that uh, it is well within my authority. And the tradition of the executive branch's prosecutorial dis uh, discretion uh, to execute this policy, which will help us make our borders safer, will help us go after criminals and those that we don't want in this country, will help people get on the right side of the law uh, and get out of the shadows. Um, and you know, keep in mind that this is something that. Uh, we necessarily have to make choices about because we've got 11 million people here uh, who we're not all going to deport. Many of them are our neighbors. Many of them are working uh, in our communities. Many of their children are U.S. citizens. Uh, and as we saw with the executive action that I took uh, for uh, Dreamers, people who had come here as young children, and are American by any other name uh, except for uh, their legal papers, uh, who want to serve this country, oftentimes uh, want to go into the uh, military or start businesses or uh, in other ways contribute. Uh, I think uh, the American people overwhelmingly recognize that to uh, pretend like we are going to ship them off uh, is unrealistic uh, and not who we are. So. I've also said throughout this process that the only way we're going to get a, a broken immigration system fully fixed is by Congress acting. And we know that there has been bipartisan support in the past for comprehensive immigration reform. Uh, I held off taking these executive actions until we had exhausted all possibilities of getting congressional action done. With a new Congress, my hope has been that they now get serious in solving the problem. Instead, what we've had is a series of votes uh, to kick out young people who have grown up here and everybody recognizes are part of our community, uh, and threats to defund the Department of Homeland Security, which would make it even harder for us to protect our borders uh, and to keep our people safe. So my strong advice right now to Congress is if they are seriously concerned about immigration, about our borders, about being able to keep criminals uh, out of this country, then what they should be doing is working together and working with this administration for a comprehensive immigration policy that allows us to continue to be both a nation of laws and a nation of immigrants. Um, and certainly, they need to start funding the Department of Homeland Security so that they can go forward with all the functions that Republicans say uh, they want carried out, including strong border security functions. Um, but with respect to the ruling, we, I disagree with it. Uh, I think the law is on our side. 
and history is on our side. And uh, we are going to appeal it. Uh, for those who are now wondering uh, whether or not they should apply, uh, we are going to uh, refer those questions to the Department of Homeland Security that's already begun the planning process. Uh, and we will be prepared to implement this full, uh, fully as soon as the legal issues uh, get resolved. Why don't we have the court rules on your program? Well, keep in mind, that we're not going to disregard this federal court ruling. Uh, you know, the law is the law in this country, and we take things a step at a time. So we're not going to be uh, actually taking applications in until uh, this case is settled. But we are doing the preparatory work uh, because this, this is a big piece of business. And it's important for us to do in order for us to actually secure our borders effectively and allocate limited resources to the most important tasks and functions uh, the Department of Homeland Security has. We should not be tearing some mom away from her child uh, when the child has been born here and that mom's been living here for the last 10 years minding her own, her own business and uh, being a uh, important part of the community. We should be focusing on stopping people at the borders, reinforcing uh, our effectiveness there, going after criminals and felons who are uh, in our midst, uh, who we can deport, uh, strengthening our systems for legal immigration. Those are all the things that we could be doing through a comprehensive immigration reform bill. And in fact, we know that there has been in the past bipartisan support for that. Uh, but as I said before, I'm not willing to uh, just stand by and do nothing and engage in a lot of political rhetoric. I'm interested in actually solving problems. I'd like to see Congress uh, take that same approach. Um, in the meantime, the uh, Department of Homeland Security will continue with the planning because we want to make sure as soon as uh, these legal issues get resolved, which I anticipate they will in our favor, that we are ready to go. Okay? Okay, thank you, Paul. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you, Paul.